What do you mean don't cook rice? It's easy. I will show you how. Heat the pan up. Just enough for one. Leave it on about three. Get it nice and hot. That looks red to me. So I use a jar to count it into that. Measure the, about that much within this of the lid. Heat your rice up in the pan. I'm going to cook some carrot in with rice. Now I'll do my carrots. No messing about. Peel the end down. So, you can use a bit of butter, or you can use some coconut oil. Good knob of butter's worth. You can just hear it crackling a little bit, so it's plenty hot. Now you can heat the rice in about the time the kettle will boil. Keep that pan nice and hot. About the same size. Careful at this point, place the knife, settle it in. Use the tip. When you get to this point, you can put the thing flat. Pretty much just do this. Well, once the kettle's boiled, or near enough, you want to pour it in there to get the rice moving. Like so. Twice the volume of water to rice. I always guesstimate. Pour about a small cup of tea's worth. You know what that is. Turn the heat right down. It's about one. You can cook your rice as long as you like on the low heat. Even turn it off completely and leave it an hour. While I'm here, show you how to do garlic. Cut through the root end, but use the tip onto the board so you leave a bit of paper. Squeeze that edge and get under there. When you leave the end attached, you can just chuck it in the bin like that. Ta da! Garlic done. Can take the uh, stem out, there's not much in there, if none. And what I like to do is slice it thinly, but you can just. You don't need garlic crusher. Just do that with your garlic. It takes a bit of force. And your garlic will taste differently, however differently you prepare it. Crushing, or just slicing, or like I've done, just roughing it up as a bit in between. You could slice it very, very thin and it will just dissolve in the pan. You can leave it a bit chunky if you'd like to taste it. If you macerate it, you won't be able to smell it on your breath afterwards.
if it's completely macerated. If it's larger chunks like this, you probably will taste it on your breath afterwards. Now keep the pan moving a little bit at the beginning. And then you can leave it for 20 minutes, which is where I set my clock on the oven. And that's how to cook rice. There's so many people told me different ways. It's pointless, you don't need to wash it, but I do like to warm it. You can add a bit of turmeric if you want. Don't want to put too much, it's quite bitter if you overdo it. Don't need salty rice, it's pointless. And don't stir it at all after that. You can leave it 20 minutes. I'll set mine for 17 because I'm going to fry a bit of veg with some chicken I had from the other day. And that's how to cook rice. Warm it in the pan, a hot pan at about three. Boiling water into it after you've added a bit of oil if you want or butter. Don't use olive oil, it's a bit of a strong flavour, too strong for the basmati, which is delicate. And then you turn the heat right down to about one. You have to get the you have to work that out, trial and error, depending on what pan you're gonna use. If you're cooking for two, you use a slightly bigger pan, because rice likes the space, doesn't like to stack up. And if you're cooking for more than two, three, use a big big bigger wider pan. And of course you wanna make sure you've got your lids for them. Nothing to it. You can add your carrot, which is what I'm going to do here. And I could add the mushrooms into there once the water's settled a bit. And the mushrooms will cook and the carrots will cook in the same time. Although if you do add carrots, you do need a little dash more water. Because they will absorb a bit. If the rice dries or burns on the bottom, you can just add a bit of water, turn the heat down or off. Add a bit of water and leave it for a minute and it will be good as new after a minute. Um, same with baked beans, if they heat up onto the bottom of the pan, just put the pan onto a cool hob. Once the pan has cooled, the beans will loosen off of the bottom of the pan without having to mush them all into a paste. I'll give it a little boost with heat. Because I've put the cold carrots in. And that's about it. Basmati rice. In cooking brown rice you can add a bit more water, you don't have to be exact, and drain it off. Brown rice takes a bit longer to cook. Like 30 minutes as opposed to 15 or 20 for rice. <clears throat> if you like your rice soft, add a little bit more water. If you like it a bit firmer, add a bit less. You don't need to dry it in the oven or any of that palaver. Perfectly simple, and the rice likes to rest with the lid off after the cooking time. Let the residual humidity come out of the rice so it dries off a little. And if you think you put too much water, you can always get rid of some from the lid at any time. Basmati, there you go, now you know. Enjoy.